Rhythm is often neglected in music theory, yet we can apply the same useful geometric visualization we used for harmony to rhythm. Rhythm is circular in the sense that once one rhythmic cycle is completed, we're back to the beginning of another cycle. We could choose any length of time, but for now let's think of how we might visualize a single measure composed of quarter notes. We can visualize this as a circle representing the entire measure that's cut into four equal parts representing the four quarter notes. Instead of drawing lines between sounding notes, for rhythm it seems more valuable to mark the pieces of pie that sound and to leave the rests unmarked. Here's how one, two, rest, four would look. To represent a complex rhythm, we have to divide the rhythm circle into as many pieces as the smallest division present in a given rhythm, or fastest rhythmic unit. Our previous rhythm circle can represent quarter notes and half notes and larger rhythmic divisions, but we couldn't represent eighth notes on it. If the smallest rhythmic division is eighth notes, the circle can be divided into eight pieces, 16 pieces for sixteenth notes, and 12 pieces for something like 12-8 time. A rhythm circle could potentially be divided into infinitely many pieces. Let's use sixteenth note divisions on our rhythm circle to visualize the common clave rhythm that we hear in genres from bossa nova to hip hop. Let's mark the pieces of pi on beats 1, a, uh, and, and, e. Not only is this a helpful visualization of rhythm, this view helps us understand rhythm patterns, which are just like interval patterns but for rhythm. For this rhythm, it'd be plus three, three, four, three, three. The rhythm pattern shows us how many of the smallest divisions of time, aka pieces of pi, are between each note. Between one and a, uh, there are three sixteenth notes of space. From a uh to the and of two, there's another three units of space, and four between the and of two and the and of three, and so on. Just like with interval patterns, when you add up the rhythm pattern, it equals the total value of the circle, in this case 16. I find it helpful to count up to each number of the rhythm pattern with the actual note occurring at the start. Here's how I'd count this rhythm pattern. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. While the usual counting system is good for understanding how rhythms relate to the downbeat, Rhythm patterns can be incredibly useful for counting unusual rhythms, especially those in other time signatures that don't emphasize the downbeats. Turning rhythm into simple addition rhythm patterns allows us to translate rhythm into set theory. This means we can explore modes of rhythms by reordering the rhythm patterns. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three or we could invert rhythms or find their complement. The difficulty with categorizing complex rhythms as sets is that a circle cut into 16 pieces has way more set possibilities than a set chart used for harmony, making its set chart too large to practically view in its entirety. However, rhythms in 12-8 or 4-4 rhythms composed of triplets translate perfectly to 12-tone equal temperament. Here's what a major chord sounds like as a 12-8 rhythm. One two three four one two three one two three four five one two three four one two three one two three four five. All the concepts regarding symmetry and harmony absolutely apply to rhythm as well, which will be discussed in a series on the significance of symmetry in music. I'm not sure why this depiction of rhythm as a circle and rhythm patterns aren't a more popular understanding of rhythm. I have found it very valuable as a teaching tool for my music students of all instruments. For example, a dotted quarter note is hard to explain in relationship to downbeats, but it's much easier to understand that an eighth note is worth one unit, quarter note is worth two, and dotted quarter note is worth three. It's certainly a valuable perspective to have in addition to the usual understanding of rhythm. You can download these rhythm circles for free on my website. I invite you all to join the Discord. Please like, comment, subscribe, and consider donating.